Hey everybody, it's Bob with RB Innovations and today we're in our prototype lab and we're going to go step by step through installing a supercharger on a Traxxas 3.3 engine. First thing you want to do is go ahead and take your clutch and clutch bell off and you can see exactly how to do that in your owner's manual. Then what we're going to do is go ahead and install the custom flywheel that comes with the kit. So you want to drop that right back on, lock tight, and then reinstall the locking nut. All right, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and take the supercharger and you're gonna go ahead and install the idler pulley right to the supercharger. And you'll see that's located just on the side of the main drive pulley. Next, what we're gonna do is take the connecting tube that goes from the carburetor to the supercharger. And what we wanna do is cut it on a slight angle. About like that and we wanna go ahead and install that right to the carburetor. And the best thing to do is have it so the tube sticks straight up from the carburetor and that'll adapt right up to the supercharger. So at this point, we'll zip tie that right in place All right, so now we've got that secured. Now what we wanna do is take the supercharger, or excuse me, take the engine, take the two side screws out, the engine mount screws. So now what we wanna do is take the supercharger and drop it onto the engine and get an idea of where we need to cut that tubing to match up with the supercharger correctly. So we'll drop that down right to uh, flush with the engine mount and you want to get a rough idea, you want it to come up to the bottom of the blower. This way it mounts and is tight right to the top. Go ahead and cut that off. Now you just want to do a dry run, just put it onto the tube and drop it right down and that's exactly what you want, flush with the engine mount. Alright, so at this point what we're going to do is, in the kit we've got two flat washers, you need to use those. Otherwise, you over tighten the screws, it'll pull right through the slots on the mounting bracket. Most important thing. So, go ahead and install the flat washers onto the screws. And then we're going to drop them right down through the slot. There we go. Jeez. Okay, and we just want to get those started because we want to line up the drive belt. At this point, we can take the drive belt. We're going to drop that onto the main pulley and up around the supercharger pulleys. And then you'll see you can adjust that forward and back. You want the belt to line up exactly straight with all the pulleys. So we've got that done. Now we can go ahead and tighten these down. Okay, at this point, we can go ahead and install the clutch and clutch belt exactly the way they came off. Your stock clutch, clutch belt fits directly in there. And you'll see it's a perfect install, everything's lined up. And all you need to do is drop it in the truck and you're ready to go. That sums up our supercharger install. If you need more information, visit our website at rbinnovations.com or at facebook.com slash rbinnovations. Also follow us on Twitter and check out our YouTube channel and definitely subscribe. Make sure you check out next week's video. We're going to show you how to install a RAM switch to control your nitrous oxide system.